to give you context, we announced this woolly mouse, which is objectively cute, regardless of what you think about de extinction. We made this woolly mouse, it, it's, it's amazing, and it had eight edits to seven genes. So it just had eight single nucleotide edits, mm -hmm. right? So it wasn't like we weren't synthesizing a big block, we were literally making eight uh, specific edits in these in these seven genes. But what was interesting is they were the same uh, mouse equivalents of what we saw in our mammoth to Asian elephant research. So we do a lot of computational analysis. We spend a lot of time looking at ancient genomes, comparing them to their closest living relatives, understanding the difference. And based on the region it's in, it kind of gives us a clue of whether it'll you know make a, a change to the hair phenotype, fat metabolism or whatnot. But these eight edits, just these eight edits, conferred all of the uh, uh, hair type, hair length, coat color, um, uh, hair densities. Our chief science officer calls it floofiness, but uh, basically how our uh, how the hairs grow in slightly different ways. So it kind of gives it that, uh, that, that kind of woolly texture. And then one was around fat metallic fat metabolism and if you look at like the control mouse which just looks like your average smooth like gray mouse compared to this you know this are our, our woolly mice look like you know that they have a really cool fur coat on right and we're still testing whether the fat metabolism works we don't know if that one you know confers cold in tolerance the mice. in the mice